Hey everyone, it's Thomas here. So I am still alive. Yes, it's been a while since I uploaded a video. So I figure, you know what, maybe I should make a, a quick video to let everyone know I'm still around. So as you can see, I've been working on my man cave. Um, I've been trying to declutter it, uh, bought some acoustic panel to treat uh, the room to make sure that, you know, if I'm going to spend so much time in this room, I might as well make the best out of it. So uh, that's why I've been spending, a l that's why I've been gone for a while. Um, but I'm about 80% done. Uh, as you can see, uh, right now I have some diffusion panels. I just randomly put up there. Uh, I have some, they're not even a real base trap on the corner. But for now, you know, it works. Uh, what I'm missing right now is to put some uh, panels on the ceiling, panels on the side. I've bought them all ready, so I am ready to go. However, because I want to do it properly, I want to bring in, I want to use a mic to measure the frequency response and so forth, so I know where to put the panels. That's why I'm taking my time. In fact, I'm thinking maybe I should take a break from uh, working on my room and let's get back to make some videos. So as you can see, I also bought a nice uh, shelf. This shelf can handle a few hundred pounds. It's designed to handle a few hundred pounds. It's, uh, it was actually custom made. Um, yeah, I, I really like this shelf. Another thing I did, I've installed dedicated power lines uh, for my stereo. Uh, fortunately, one of my subscribers is an electrician. So uh, he dropped by and he helped me install some uh, electrical plugs. And, you know, if you're looking for somebody to do it for you too, uh, let me know and I'll hook you guys up. It's fun because, you know, we listen to our system before we install the plug. And after that, we, you know, after we install the plug, we we'll listen to it again to see if there's any difference. I'll talk about that in a future video. It's just, you know, uh, knowing an electrician who's also an audiophile, it's, uh, it's fun. And thanks to him, he also helped set up my turntable, finally. This has been in the box for about, gosh, eight months? I forget. Uh, this is a Torrens 203. Uh, it's okay. I mean, I used it just once or twice. I have three turntables, the Moran's TT15, I got this one, and then I have this uh, entry-level one. I actually like this one a lot. Uh, so some uh, upcoming videos, I'll be talking about the shit Freya, the tube preamp. Finally, I got my hands on a shit. Uh, I'll also talk about uh, the Prima Luna uh, integrated amp, the, the entry-level one. If you're ever wondering so how do they compare to all these integrated amp like the Yakin that's flooding uh, Amazon, it's interesting actually. So uh, it's not a straightforward comparison. So wait for my video. So for those of you who are still debating if you should pick up a Yakin or Prima Luna, wait for my video because they're very different. Okay, so I also got my hands on uh, five pair of bookshelf speakers recently. The Totem Sky, the Kabas 40, the Wafdel D225, the Revell, and then I still have a pair of Kef LS50. So what I did, I invited my friends over and I had them blind test them, meaning that I don't tell them the price of the speakers and they have to tell me which one they like. Uh, those friends, they don't know, they don't really know these kind of speakers. So it, it, was, it was fun. Uh, I'll share my findings in another video in the future. So uh, as you can see, I've been keeping myself busy. Uh, but today I want to talk about fake speaker cables. So recently I bought a system and in the system, the person also included a bunch of cables. So here I was thinking that, whoa, I score big time. Look at these, Siltec 770L. I think they're about three grand US. But as I was looking at these speakers, I also got a pair of AudioQuest speakers and a PS Audio power cable. So, but the problem is that when I was checking them out and then I realized, you know, they, they, they don't feel like high quality, you know, it, it just doesn't feel like a $3,000 cable. The, the audio quest is a thousand dollar cable. It just doesn't feel like it. So what I did, I went online, look around and turns out that there's actually a lot of fake high end cables. So just a warning here, if you're shopping on eBay for a high-end cable, make sure you get some kind of uh, original proof of purchase because apparently uh, there are a lot of fake ones. Um, how do they sound? Let's not talk about that on YouTube. It's interesting though. So uh, with that, uh, I just want to say hi to everyone and let everyone know, you know, guys, be careful when you buy cables. I know some of you think that this and... Uh, 
a lamb cord is the same. Mm. Oh well. So with that, uh, I'll just end the video. I just want to say hi to everyone quickly. And uh, the next upcoming video, I'll be introducing you to a uh, bookshelf speaker, the Luna 177. So uh, I'll see you next time. All right, guys. Bye.